Hi, I'm Jeff Goodman and welcome to scubaverse.com. Today I'm looking at the problems facing our seagrass beds. Seagrass beds are a crucial part of our marine ecosystem, as well as being a very effective carbon sink for global warming. They also absorb uh, nutrients, bacteria, pollutants, and so help to keep our seas clean. They are a very effective nursery ground for commercial and non-commercial fishes. And yet, we continue to destroy them with little or no thought at all. A short while ago, I was invited to join for a day a small team from Project Seagrass, whose overall aim is to restore our depleted seagrass beds. I met them on Moonshadow, based in Milo, and together with a group of volunteer divers set out to collect seeds from still existing seagrass beds. While on board, Evie Furness from Project Seagrass told me more about their reseeding project. Hi, I'm Evie from Seagrass Ocean Rescue. I am a seagrass technician working on this project. It's a two-year two project funded by Sky Ocean Rescue and WWF. And we're planning to restore two hectares of seagrass. So we're out here today with volunteer divers in the water picking seagrass seeds, which are teeny tiny seeds that we then filter through on the boat to make sure we pick out just the seeds. So we've chosen a site in uh, West Wales in Pembrokeshire which is a small fishing community and it's a place where there's historic records of huge seagrass meadows, really vibrant big ones, but due to industry and pollution it's degraded down and there's now only small natural patches left. So we know it's an ideal habitat for seagrass to get going again. And we've had some trial runs out that have been really successful. So we're trying to heavily work with the community, have the lobster pots involved um, so that they get to benefit from the seagrass. So why restore seagrass? Seagrass is so important for our commercial fisheries. Over a third of our fisheries um, use seagrass as a nursery habitat and as well as that it's 30, time, 30 to 40 times better than tropical rainforests as a carbon store. So we're going about this by using our volunteer divers who are out picking our seeds. We'll then take all these seeds back to the lab in Swansea University where we'll let the seagrass rot, rot, rot down and because of this rotting down, the seeds will drop out, these teeny tiny seeds, and we'll be able to scoop the seeds out. We're then using more volunteers. We're gonna get all the primary schools in the area, scouts clubs, everyone that we possibly can involved to help us put these seeds into small biodegradable hessian bags. These hessian bags will then be planted by divers out into the, in and around the harbour um, in Pembrokeshire. So if you are keen to get involved in this project or want to know more, please go to our website, um, searching into Google Project Seagrass. We also have a Seagrass Spotter app, which we're trying to encourage everyone to use. It's now worldwide. But in the UK, we know so little about our seagrass meadows that if you're out and about um, using the water, walking intertidally or scuba diving and you see some seagrass, then take a picture of it. If you know the rough location, you can upload it onto the seagrass spotter. And that's really useful for us as scientists to keep our meadows healthy.